Hello everyone, and welcome to my advanced parkour guide for Assassin's Creed Mirage. My name is Dallin S, and today I will be showing you every parkour mechanic I have discovered in the game. In this game, you have three main control inputs aside from your directional movement. Those three inputs are sprint, parkour up, and parkour down. The way these function is generally fairly self-explanatory. First off, if you are using a controller like myself, I strongly advise you go into the controller mapping options and change sprint from left stick to right trigger, and for both controller or mouse and keyboard, set the input method from toggle to hold. The rest of this guide assumes you have adopted this input method for sprinting. Check the description for a full layout of my button mappings for controller. Holding down sprint makes Basim sprint faster than his default running speed. It also affects the outcome of pressing the other two main buttons, parkour up and parkour down. If you tap or hold parkour down while sprinting, Basim will slide, ending in a crouched position. Keep in mind you can continue to sprint in a crouch and the next rule still applies. While holding down sprint and tapping or holding parkour up, Basim will vault over a large variety of obstacles that you may encounter. I find this to be the most consistent method for vaulting by far, even though the game claims that holding parkour down will achieve the same result like it did in Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla. I have tested using parkour down for vaults in Assassin's Creed Mirage, and it seems far less consistent than the combined inputs of holding sprint and parkour up. If you wish to simply mount on top of an obstacle instead of crossing over it, release Sprint as you hold Parkour up and Basim will step up or climb on top. While running in this game is just about as straightforward as it gets. Simply hold down Parkour up, with or without Sprint being held, and when you approach a wall, Basim will scale it. You can sometimes use directional input to influence the exact angle Basim ascends the wall. In order to parkour down, you use the parkour down input. If you tap or start holding parkour down right at a ledge, Basim will turn and drop to grab the ledge, then allowing you to drop or climb down further. If you wish to drop off of shorter ledges without turning to grab, there are two possible approaches. For the lowest of heights, you can simply run Basim off the ledge. Simply use movement input and guide him off the ledge and he will drop down. If the height is too great, Basim will stop at the edge, he will not drop off, and in that situation you need to start holding down parkour down before reaching the ledge and this will force him to drop straight down in a very clean, smooth descent. Keep in mind that performing this forced parkour down descent while holding sprint will cause Basim to also begin a slide before he reaches the ledge and that way he will end at the bottom of the descent in a crouched position which you will have to manually raise him up from. When Basim is hanging on a wall and you wish to have him drop downward, you have a couple of options. If you hold directional movement downward, he will climb down safely. If you hold parkour down without any directional movement input, you will get an animation where Basim releases his handhold and commits to a larger fall. And if you let go of parkour down after he begins falling, he will ignore any other handholds on his way down. Obviously, this can result in fall damage at greater heights. So if you wish to re-grab or catch a ledge further down to avoid getting hurt, simply repress and hold down parkour up and input directional movement towards the wall to grab on. This re-grabbing technique is known as catch ledge. Besides when dropping along a wall, it can also be performed out of risky jumps and from various angles. It can be performed by holding either parkour up or parkour down, but keep in mind that by holding parkour down to do a catch ledge, as soon as Basim makes contact with the wall, he will start to descend. The game lets you unlock a skill early on called Breakfall. This is nearly identical in both function and animation to the skill of the same name from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. For some reason, they continue to not explain it in the game properly. The skill preview shows Basim doing a silly barrel roll after falling from a great height. Um, in order to perform a proper parkour roll, simply tap or spam pressing parkour up right before hitting the ground. 
It is worth noting that in this game, regardless of whether Bastion does the barrel roll or the parkour roll, he will not take damage. This does not apply in real life, however, so don't go barrel rolling out of big drops, please. In Mirage, there are many beam and pull objects you can interact with. If you are standing on such a thin object, tapping parkour down will cause Bastion to drop down and hold it with his hands. From here, you can hold down parkour up without pressing directional input to get him swinging. Once he is swinging, inputting forward movement on the forward swing will have Bassim swing forward to any obstacles in front of him. This only works if there is an obstacle in range, otherwise he will simply climb on top of the bar or pole. If you wish to climb back on top of a bar or beam, simply input forward movement without holding parkour up. To turn around while hanging from a bar or beam, hold down backwards movement input without holding parkour up. With clever inputs, you can chain swings and precision jumps in cool combinations, especially given Mirage's amazing level design. Now let's talk about the big one, Eject. In virtually every Assassin's Creed game, Ejects have existed in some form or another, and they refer to when the character jumps either to the side or to the rear while holding on a vertical surface. Typically these can be performed while cat hanging on a wall or from the middle or top of a wall run. In Mirage, the way ejects work is there has to be a valid target for Bassin to land on. When in range of a valid target obstacle, simply hold down parkour up and if you wish to eject to either side, input directional movement in the direction of that obstacle. It takes some playing around to get used to, but it feels more consistent in this game than in the three RPG Assassin's Creed's. <laughs> if you want to perform an eject out of a wall run where Bassem doesn't have anything to grab onto at the top, for example on a palm tree trunk, I find it works to either Press and hold down parkour up along with movement input or tap or spam tapping the parkour up while inputting movement on the top of the wall run. This handhold list version of the maneuver is by far more janky and less consistent than the version where Bassem is already hanging on to something on the wall. And keep in mind if you wish to simply perform a back eject from a wall run or a hang, no directional movement input is necessary. You simply tap parkour up when hanging or tap or hold parkour up at the top of wall run and Bastion ejects backward. And that is all for my advanced parkour guide on Assassin's Creed Mirage. Hopefully you guys found this helpful in some way. Uh, please share your thoughts and any discoveries you find down below in the comments section. And keep in mind I plan to make more content like this in the future, so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. Go now. Yeah.